in yesterday's draft, the Chicago Bulls chose with the number seven pick. They chose Wendell Carter Jr. from Duke, and their second pick at number. I mean, in their second pick in the um, first round, number twenty-two, uh, they chose Chandler Hutchinson. Now, let me talk about Wendell Carter Jr. first. Uh, I was a little bit upset when they chose uh, Wendell Carter Jr. I wanted the Bulls to go up and um, try to get Mobamba. Uh, the Magic uh, took them took Mobamba at, at number six. And I wanted the Bulls to try to go get him. Uh, I kind of figured the Bulls was not going to draft uh, Michael Porter Jr. because of his back issues. I didn't know how bad his back was. It was a report, a report saying that Michael Porter Jr. needed a, a second surgery. And, um, you know, the kid, his, his hip was hurting um, earlier in the week. So no one wanted to touch, you know, wanted to, uh, at the top of the draft, no one wanted to, you know, spend their draft pick on a guy that could possibly have in, uh, injury issues. I understand that 100%. But it, it, um, Wendell Carter Jr. can play, man. Uh, I've seen uh, some of his games at Duke. I've I seen some highlights of him playing. He got some strong post moves uh, over both shoulders. Uh, the guy can hit the three, so he trans translates to this uh, NBA. But the one thing I do like about him, he can play down low too, and he can hit mid-range shots. He got the total package. It seemed like he got the total package. Now let's see how he progressed, you know, further in the NBA. He's only 19 years old. Um, his his partner, his uh backcourt partner, Mar Marvin Bagley the third was taken number two, and I I looked at both of them very closely. Wendell Carter Jr. may may be better than um Mac, uh uh you know Marvin Bagley the third because one thing that uh. I see that Wendell Carter does. He plays defense better. He's a better defender, and he's just and they they're both to me on even par on offense. I think Wendell Carter Jr. plays a little bit down low better, but they both uh, have very very good offensive uh, tools. But Wendell Carter Jr. plays defense more instinctively. Like it looks like he wants to play defense. He's a little more a little bit more nastier, a little bit more grittier. Uh, you know, Wendell Carter Jr. is 6'10", 260 pounds, and Marvin Bagley the third is. 267, 236 pounds. Marvin Bagley third is, is kind of like a tweener. He's like a small forward type with power forward height. You know what I'm saying? He got the small forward kind of build, but he got the power forward height. He don't, I don't think he, he can guard small forwards uh, for big stretches, but he can switch out on them. Just like uh, Wendell Carter Jr. I believe Wendell Carter Jr. can switch out pretty good. He's a pretty good athlete, uh, very strong. So, and then with the number 22 pick, uh, Chandler Hutchinson, I've seen a little bit of him uh, at Boise State. I've seen some highlights uh, call him, um, you know, you can tell by a guy can play. I mean, I understand, like, their highlights, but you can tell uh, what kind of repertoire they have. And um, he has a, a raving review from, from some professional um, basketball players. Uh, Clay Thompson said he can, he can ball. So, you know, I'm going to take that a little bit to the bank that Clay Thompson said he can ball. But we'll see how these two guys translate. It seemed like the Bulls, uh, with that Jimmy Butler trade, they got a full starting five because we got to remember last year the Bulls uh, in that um, Jimmy Butler trade and the Bulls traded their number 30 pick. But they got uh, Chris Dunn, point guard. They got Zach Levine, small, I mean, shooting guard. And they uh, drafted Lauren Marketing, uh, power, power forward. And this year, because they were not, they were not that good uh, last year due, due to the Jimmy Butler trade, they were able to pick up a small forward in Chandler Hutchinson, very athletic, uh, looked like he can get his own shot, create his own shot off the dribble. And um, they got uh, Wendell Carter Jr., uh, the center. He's going to play the center. He, he's going to play the center spot for the Bulls. So it, they got a starting five. So that so that, that trade may turn off to be a franchise and uh, turnaround moment for the Bulls, that trade that they traded Jimmy Butler to Minnesota. So we'll see how the Bulls pan out. Uh, they still have work to do to to to, real, to round this roster off more. They got to get a little bit more shooting, uh, get a little bit more experience. So we'll see what they do, uh, what they're gonna do. They say that they are in a rebuilding mode and they're gonna take everything easy. So let me know what y'all think. If you're if you're a Bulls fan, let me know what you think and let me know what you think about y your home team and um, who they drafted and if you like uh, your home team draft. I give the Bulls draft a, uh, I give it an A. I give I give it a solid A. They got two really good uh, impact players. They got two players that they wanted. They got two players that they targeted. So we'll see what uh, what happens. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm out.